Hey everybody, it's Molly from The Feed Feed and today I am home in my kitchen with our friends at Hanson Brook Farms and we're gonna make a delicious potato salad with some soft boiled eggs. So let's just walk through our ingredients. So first off, we are gonna have our Hanson Brook Farms organic pasture raised eggs, which are gonna soft boil. We're gonna add a little bit of celery for some crunch and then to build sort of the dressing of this potato salad, we're gonna go with a little shallot Soak that in some red wine vinegar, add a little Dijon, olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. And then here's our potatoes. So this is three pounds of baby potatoes. I just have them in cold water. I'm about to pop them on the stove top to cook them. And this comes together so quickly. The only thing not pictured is a little bit of bacon, which I have in the oven right now, which is totally optional. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna get our potatoes cooking uh, just cause they'll take the longest. The most important thing when you're doing potatoes, you wanna start with cold water so they don't go gummy and you wanna be very liberal with the salt. I know it looks like a lot, but basically if you don't get enough salt into the potatoes as they're cooking, um, it's really hard for them to absorb that salt after the fact. So I'm just going to Turn this burner on. This will come up to a boil. I'll reduce it a little bit to about medium, medium high, and we're gonna let these cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or just until they're fork tender. So Hanserbrook Farms actually has this beautiful new packaging. I really love the artwork on here. I was lucky enough to visit some of their farms in Kentucky uh, back in October, and I feel like this artwork like really represents the amazing land that these chickens are on. It's beautiful, it's open. Each chicken has over a hundred and square feet to roam. Um, and they were pretty much the cutest and happiest chickens I have ever seen. So here are these gorgeous eggs. I feel like there's often a little bit of confusion when people talk about different types of eggs and sort of how they're produced. Um, so organic pasture raised eggs are basically the most sustainable eggs that you can get and they're the best eggs that you can eat for a couple different reasons. So as I said, these chickens are happy. They're sort of in their natural habitat. They aren't cramped um, and they are just basically living their best little chicken lives. And in terms of the feed, so the land and the feed that they're raised on is certified organic, which means there's no GMOs in the feed, no pesticides, no chemicals, and no antibiotics. So this is just everything you want about an egg and nothing you don't. Let's talk about soft boiled eggs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this down. This is way too crazy. So you want like a gentle boil when you're doing a soft boiled egg because if it's too rapid of a boil, they're gonna kind of like bonk into each other and crack and it's gonna be so sad. So I like to start with tempered eggs. So all that means is that I just let them sit out at room temperature so that they're all starting from sort of like the same base point and you're going to just tip them into the boiling water or gent gently boiling water with a slotted spoon. You obviously don't want to just like smash these into the bottom of the pot because again they'll crack. Ooh, easy does it with one hand. Um, so these are going to cook for exactly six and a half minutes. I'm not a big like specific timer person. I will admit that. I like to eyeball everything. I never eyeball soft boiled eggs. So exactly six minutes and 30 seconds and then we'll put them in an ice bath. So while everything is sort of cooking, let's just quickly make our dressing. So I have one shallot that I minced right there and I'm gonna add, it's about a third a cup of red wine vinegar, kind of whatever you have. I like the red wine vinegar with the Dijon. Um, and I'm just gonna let this sit and hang out for probably like two to three minutes just to kind of like soften that bite from the shallots. So this has been sitting for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna add in our whole grain Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add in some lemon zest. And I'm also gonna add the juice of that lemon. 
add a generous pinch of kosher salt, some black pepper. I'm just gonna whisk this all together. And then I'll just slowly stream in our olive oil and just whisk this until it's emulsified. And you don't have to worry too much about it. We're gonna toss this all with the potatoes. It's going to drink up all this delicious flavor. So you don't have to have like the perfect vinegar. So our potatoes are done. I just drained them and I'm going to add them to our dressing. And you can see they're still nice and steamy. I like to toss them with the dressing while they're warm so that they have a chance to really absorb all the flavor from that dressing. I'm also just going to add our celery into this. I love celery. I think it's like one of my favorite foods, second to eggs. But if you're like, ew, celery, gross, just skip it, whatever your preference is. I like that it adds a little crunch. Okay, and then we'll just sit until we're ready to assemble with those soft boiled eggs. Okay, so my timer went off. So I plunge these into some ice water. All we need to do is basically put them in cold water to stop the cooking and make them cool enough to handle so that we can peel them. So I mentioned earlier I had a little bacon in the oven. I just popped it in there for about 18 minutes just till it got nice and crisp. Um, we are a bacon loving household. If you do not love bacon, then totally skip it. Um, 100% optional, but I'm just gonna crumble this and toss it with our potatoes. See how we did. Yum. See, you got the white is perfectly set, but then you've got this like delicious jammy yolk. This is like just how I like my eggs. So this is looking so good. I add a little bit of parsley to our potatoes. I put our eggs on top. I'm just gonna finish this with some minced chives. So this is done, so easy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flaky salt on top. And obviously, if this feels like, you know, you prefer a more traditional hard boiled egg, go for it. Right now, cooking is all about sort of taking inspiration from recipes and making them based on what you like and what you have. Okay, so I've curated the perfect bite. I got a little potato, a little egg, some of that runny yolk. Hmm. The flavor from the egg and the yolk combined with like that creamy potato and sort of like that briny Dijon heavy dressing. It's so good. Perfect for a hot summer day. I hope you guys all make it. You can get the full recipe on thefeedfeed.com. And thank you so much to our friends at Hansonbrook Farms.